Let's make, make sure, sure we've got, got... Ooh, let's do all the things because we got our health heroes here. Hey y'all, I'm just finishing up all the good things, all the small bits, because you wanna be a health hero for your family. You're trying to figure out what am I going to cook for dinner? What am I going to take to lunch? Well, this is how you can take the same ingredients that you would use in your pasta dish and you can transform them for a burrito. So this way you have a portable lunch, a portable package, a portable whatever that's delicious and nutritious. So welcome to the Superfood Parent Show. Where we've got the best 30 minutes of your day 30 minutes ish and there's always a live cooking demo, demo so this way you know exactly what you're doing in the kitchen so thank you so much for being here momo's world uh you are here from kenya right now y'all that's my lawyer i've already declared uh momo to be my lawyer she is a lawyer she just hasn't been my lawyer yet she's my lawyer now hey Ania and g albert thank you so much everybody for putting in hashtag health heroes because we do have some pasta here that I'll be cooking tomorrow, right? These are sort of like the cavatappi. All these pastas have fancy names, but this one, as you see, it's like a macaroni, but it's more spirally. And so G Albert, if you're looking for a fun pasta, this one, the cavatappi shape is a fun one. It holds on to the sauce. So this way, if you have a saucy pasta, like a creamy pasta or a red sauce pasta, definitely use cavatappi. That's what I'll be cooking tomorrow. But rather than create this, delicious these this delicious blend and put it into pasta what we're doing today g albert and bravo with sheila network we are putting it into a burrito now last night i was on the bravo with sheila network and i created a burrito that one had potatoes it did not have fennel because we will be using fennel today Lo and i just dropped the tofu y'all know i do like tofu i didn't put tofu in it last night so i'm also putting in this organic tofu it's super firm if you can see that super firm, that is the key. That's the secret ingredient, the super firm. I like that it's organic, uh, Tati, because I don't know, Tati, you're in Romania. I don't know if you all have these issues there where you have to have, you have to really watch out for organic versus non-organic. But here in the States, we definitely need that, okay? Because here everybody's not a health hero make sure y'all do what Ania has done she was the last winner so make sure you put in hashtag health heroes so that you can win a status for a, one of our super phase heroes for today uh basically i try to get all organic where i can and then y'all know some of the stuff it's not organic but that's okay it's it's fine if it's not organic right like let me show you here some of the cheeses that we're going to be using because we're going to be using some vegetables and then we're also going to be using some cheeses now this one the follow your heart mozzarella i use most of this in the pizza i made last night and i just use it as a topping i do have though some child brand slices that i'll be using and i actually have some pepper jack slices that i will be using today so Depending on your flavor profile, what you prefer, what you like, y'all notice I'm bringing this cheese out of this old walnut bag. That's because I don't know what's up with the plant-based cheeses. They need to get their packaging together. This is why people don't buy them because they're like, okay, is it funny? Why, does, why can't I just open and close the package, right? You got to figure out fancy ways. Y'all see that cheese falling out? This is how it looks. I had a little piece of pepper jack cheese. You see those uh, little flecks in there? It does taste just like pepper jack because this flavor here is the one I'm going to use in our burritos to give it a little bit of kick. This is the child brand spicy original. Okay. So look, Momo's world is like, look here in Kenya, they don't even check the labels. You probably don't have to. They're setting us up here in the States. You know, the States is one of the places where thick care is the business. So every individual is the product, right? That means that uh, like you're saying, Momo, your uh, most things there are already organic. It's it's created naturally. Y'all don't have all these pesticides that are pestering you. And then by the time you realize what it is pestering you, you are uh, fat, sick, and nearly dead. You know, and that's a movie, by the way. Y'all go look at that movie, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. I was looking for my garlic because I always like to chop my garlic first. And I also like to chop my cabbage first. I should have brought out some green cabbage too, but I like foods that hold their colors. So let's just, uh-oh, Momo says, I'm just about to fry some pork. Okay, so what are you having with the pork? I'm not against pork if that's what you have. And you know, I'm just all for 
the fruits and vegetables. So make sure you infuse those, get them in at every spread and get in more than one, combine them. I know around the world, a lot of people will do that. So look, oh wow. So Tati over in Romania, y'all even have to check the shower gel. So y'all have that issue as well with all these extra chemicals and whatnot, because you do have to be careful about the labels. I see that. And y'all see if it's bio or non-bio. So, you know, bio means life. So basically, I wonder if you all's version of uh, organic is bio, you know, like, or does that mean it's biodegradable or non-biodegradable? I don't know. You tell me, uh, Tati C. Patita, let me know. Dang, right? You know, I use black, I use uh, black soap because Momo's world is saying they even have to check their shower gel. Wow. I'm holding a rutabaga, y'all. Yes, a rutabaga. <laughs> We're going to put rutabaga in this thing today. <laughs> oh, Momo's World has an, had an apple 30 minutes ago, but she'll add some green peppers. That's what's up. I am adding red peppers. One reason I'm adding red peppers is I like foods that keep their color. A lot of times when you cook a lot of foods together, uh, vegetables, that is, some of them, they get translucent so that everything looks a little gray. I like to keep the vibrancy. So carrots, they tend to stay orange. And so I had a few pieces of carrots that I had skinned and I had started using, I'm adding those. I even had a couple of baby carrots in here, which are just full size carrots that they already skinned for you. So carrots and red peppers, they tend to keep their vibrancy. Actually, even purple cabbage will turn kind of a, a muddy color. It's not always staying bright, right? And so with the fennel, I don't know how much you all have worked with fennel. Fennel gives you that sausage flavor. And so, um, with sausage, but but when you put this into, with sausage, you're, this is the flavor you're looking for, fennel. But with this particular burrito or the pasta, it simply adds that deeper flavor of, wow, there's something good and delicious in here. And you'll use it just like a lettuce, uh, not a lettuce, but, or a lettuce or a celery, where you are just going to use the top of the fronds. As you all see, I've already chopped off some of those and I've used them already this week. There is a recipe that I've had where you just use the whole thing. So that means you'll break off down to the bottom and you'll use even the white. And that's when you're roasting those. I had gotten that recipe years ago from uh, the Food Network. So in this burrito, we have onions, a little bit of garlic. We have purple cabbage. We have carrots, red peppers. I even have some mushrooms down here and I have fennel. So, so far that let's count those things because everyone is worth five points. That is how we become a faves 100 hero, right? Because of course, if we're going to create this super chef creation where we are making a burrito instead of a pasta, we still wanna know how much nutrition are we getting? So that's one for the cabbage, garlic, that's two, onions, three, rutabaga, four, peppers, five, mushroom, six, carrot, seven, fennel, eight. Eight times four, y'all. Somebody tell me, y'all do the math because we're doing this together, right? And I see that uh, Tati C. Fatita is saying, I'm not sure bio means it's not even genetic manipulation. Got it. So your bio means that it's um, non-GMO. So that means on this particular package right here for the uh, tofu, it does have a small label of non-GMO right here in the middle, all these little circles. So I'm gonna hold it very close to the camera. Non-GMO would be your bio, I guess, meaning it's real life, it's not fake, it's not genetically modified because GMO means genetically modified organ organism. And what they're doing is genetically modifying the foods, which is why a lot of us are now genetically modified. And thank you, Momo's World, for staying in the bush bushes and listening. Because, you know, as a lawyer, you've got important things to do over there in Kenya. So thank you for listening in. And thank you all for listening in. Thank you for putting in hashtag health heroes. All right, good. Tati is saying true. Okay. So that's it. You know, you don't want genetically modified foods because that's why a lot of our children are coming out with um, autism, autism spectrum, and everybody has something that they're on all of a sudden. Uh, the adults as well, we're being modified. You know, a lot of my patients, I'm a nurse. I've been a nurse for about 30 years now. And a lot of my patients, they are, uh, the, the women are, the adult women have MS, multiple sclerosis. The men have ALS. Um, what is it? Uh, ALS is something lateral sclerosis. So the point is that this sclerosis or this hardening 
sclerosis is a hardening. Uh, that is happening in the men and the women. It presents a little bit differently in each one, but there's an uptick of it, right? I don't know if it's because of the genetically modified organisms. What I do know is that, and I don't know also if it's the, let's just say the Wi-Fi in the air, because you know, they say the 4G went when it went to 5G, that modified us. It made a difference uh, because of the energy fields and everything. So look, whether it's the food, whether it's the energy fields, whether it's the water sources, the whole point is control what you can control, improve what you can improve. Because if you found out that um, kissing your dog in the mouth would make you sick every single time, you just wouldn't do it, right? So as you find out information, act on it. You know, learn more about what your environment is doing to you. And I think this is why people still kissing their dogs in the mouth. Because even if somebody's telling them they're getting sick, but they don't feel sick, they're doing it, right? <laughs> this is for all you dog lovers and animal lovers. I, I don't, now I don't eat animals, um, but even when I did, I was not a, a person that was also kissing animals in the mouth. It just wasn't my thing. I will say that when I see Cutco, I'm gonna kiss Cutco in the mouth. Cause they, y'all know this is the only knife I use. It's the Cutco knife that I've had for 20 years. Y'all know I say this just about every episode when I was eating animals and chopping them up with this very same knife, it was performing the same way it's performing today when I'm cutting hard vegetables like rutabagas, because rutabagas and sweet potatoes tend to be kind of hard when they're raw to chop through, but it's a cinch with this Cutco knife, right? Thank you, Gil, at night for reminding everybody to click the like button. Uh, thank you for letting everybody know that we are powered by Roll Java because Roll Java is the coffee that I drink. It's right here behind me in the black bag. Rolljava.com is where you can find all your gourmet blends that are shipped directly to your door. And the fun thing about Roll Java is that it's um, it reminds you of... Um, there are several roasters that we use around the country, by the way. So that's how we get it to your door that way. But the fun thing about Roll Java is there's a flavor for every season, every occasion. Uh, we just have a lot of blends there. Now I prefer the unflavored. However, I do enjoy the flavored versions of Roll Java as well. So this is where RollJava.com, hey, it's holiday time. If you're looking for a gift, I have a friend whose birthday is today then send them some, you know, head on over to the website and do all those things. So I'm chopping up right now my garlic. I'm chopping up my onions, the, uh, excuse me, my garlic and my purple cabbage. The next thing I'm going to chop up is my rutabaga because I'm going to put those things in the pan first with a little bit of water. I never saute with oil anymore. I just usually use a splash of, a splash of water. And this way the rutabaga can soften up. And if you're not familiar with rutabagas, y'all let me know what you know about rutabagas. What's your experience cooking with them, okay? Because I'm going to give you all some news. I have some scoop for you, so it's about time for the news. And then we'll run our Faves 100 giveaway. So if you haven't put Faves uh, Health Heroes, excuse me, if you have not put hashtag Health Heroes into the chat, put it into the chat because a lot of you have, that way you can win. Uh, also, uh, we have our, so we have our news, okay? Because Gail at Night is just reminding everybody as she says hello, to please text text the words faves to 757-231-3949. That's how you can get alerts and stay in the loop. Uh, we are we are in a reset right now. So, you know, just with the Reed brand, uh, some of the things are still being worked on. Y'all know my marketing director is working hard in the background. So yes, keep up with all the things. And now let's get into the news. Y'all see how slowly I'm cutting through this rutabaga? I told y'all it was tough, right? It's a little bit harder. But let me know how y'all use them. If you use them, I use them like potatoes because they have a similar flavor to potatoes. And I don't know why they wax them here in the States. This is what I'm talking about, Momo's World. You're in Kenya. Do y'all put wax on the outside of some of the fruits? Like, why you got to put wax on it? Because now I got to try to get that wax off the cutting board. I already got plastic inside of my body because they got plastic on everything. Everything is packaged in plastic, you know. And there are microplastics in the babies. Like, people who are pregnant, the babies already have plastic in them now. Momo's World, that could be a court case for you, child. I don't know what type of uh, lawyering you do, but... We need help out here. Anyways, I'm going to get into the scoop because I see Momo's World has put in hashtag healthy heroes. Oh, no, no, no. Put in 
health heroes like Gail at Knight did it, or like Tati C. Fertitta has done it, okay? That way, H E R health, H E R O E S, okay? Not healthy heroes, but health heroes. So let's get into the news. A couple of things to let you all know is that number one, I did launch my superfood uh, parent, excuse me, let me just pick the book up. I launched this book. <laughs> Boom, the family, food, the family food playbook, okay? This is on Amazon. It's still on the website as a free giveaway. So that means if you were to go to the website, which is superfoodparents.com, and if you look right at the bottom of the screen, superfoodparents.com is scrolling right there, so you know where to find it. But look right there, y'all. It says, I, don't, I think the glare is making me miss it written by Chef Laquita Marie. Over the years, I've always been doing publications for other people, my other business partner, and all of those things. And I said, let me just do this workbook that really speaks to uh, what I love, which is you all being a health hero for your loved one. So here's a simple on how you can do it. This is how you can be a phase 100 hero, right? Just eat all your fruits and vegetables, as many as you can, earn five points per day. But if you want the the graphic version, then boom, this page right here shows you the steps to be a health hero for your loved one. We have notes in here that tell you how to how to use this book. And then there are a lot of workbook pages. So that way, in between the workbook pages, you do have your grocery lists. You do have your weekly food tracker for your food journal. And y'all remember when I was just showing y'all some of these pages on the screen? So this is why they say write the vision, make it plain, right? Because it will come to fruition. So as you see here, there is the shopping list, the grocery list that was at one point just a virtual imagination. But, you know, all of those things in your heart will come right out. So, hey there, the everyday life of an OCD is chick. So good to have you here. And I see Lash's journey saying, wow, awesome. Congratulations. Yes. So uh, I, I appreciate that Momo's world. She's saying that um, the book looks so nice. And, and she didn't just say the book looks so nice. She said, wow. And if y'all know Momo's world, she's very expressive. She laughs a lot. She's beautiful. Um, she's, she has a great smile, um, a great laugh, a great personality. And she really resonates with people. And plus she's a lawyer. She, she, she doesn't lie. She told us the lawyers don't lie. I don't believe her y'all. None of us believed her in that episode. All of us was like, y'all lawyers be lying, but look, she told us she doesn't lie. So I got to believe her, right? So here's the thing. Uh, with this scoop, uh, part of this scoop is that, yes, I launched a book, okay? And so if you like this book, let's just say you'd like to just download the book and get it for yourself. All you have to do is go to superfoodparents.com and you can get the shortened version. So this way, all you if you want to print it out, you can, okay? So I will show you here on this, by sharing the screen, this is going to be the virtual version of where you can download it. So that way you all will know. Superfoodparents.com is right there at the top. Get the free ebook. Now on Amazon, it I'm still trying to add it to my page, but it is on Amazon actually, under the Superfood Parents page. I have it linked there, but I want to put it there like literally as a product, okay? So I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Bravo with Sheila Network. She says, beautiful cover. Yes, thank you. Uh, this book is, is, um, is just part of a series. And so now that I am free to really uh, work on the things that I have initiatives for, then things are really coming together, okay? So back to the scoop, okay? So another announcement is that, and I did announce this last night on Bravo with Sheila Network when I was a guest on her show. I did announce that one of my dreams for Food Church is coming alive, right? Now, when I say Food Church, my dream for Food Church is literally a, um, not, a, not necessarily a place or a building or a church, but it's, a, it's a, an organization or a group that comes together to just embrace food whole food, real food, right? The good stuff. I'm going to now put in some of this rutabaga and some of this red cabbage and some of this garlic into the pan with a splash of water. So I'll let you all see that while I talk about this next part. So back to food church. So I went to a family and friends day. My sister had this family and friends day last week. 
I'm not into church, y'all. I, I stopped going because I was like, I've been going to church all my life. Am I going to just keep coming here? Um, taking all this time because we used to, we was in one of those sun up, sun down churches. You were in there so long. And I said, I can do more work if I just get out of the building and do the work. So that's what I started doing. Instead of just going to church all the time, I still go occasionally. But instead of going there all the time, what I started doing was doing the work, right? Doing the work that all the things that I learned in church, I started implementing those things. I'm just chopping a little bit more rutabaga. And you know what? Rutabaga gets soft. It gets soft kind of quickly like a potato. They're just kind of hard at first to chop through them. And my husband's grandmother, here's a quick story. She used to actually, on her way to school, because you know, back then everybody used to walk uphill to school both ways. She said that she they would just stop and um, grab a rutabaga out of somebody's garden or their own garden, because everybody knew each other, so they weren't stealing. Uh, on the way to school, they would peel it with their teeth and they would eat it on the way to school. And you know, this is how you get great teeth. Like when you eat whole food, like, okay, y'all, I told you go to Momo. Momo's world is in Kenya. She has a great smile because when you eat real food, it's been scientifically and medically proven that it, uh, it helps your jaw grow the proper way. So your jaw is wide enough to prevent crowding. So if any of y'all have ever heard of British, British teeth, basically they're saying they're crowded. You know, the British have a history of being malnourished or undernourished, right? Just poor quality food. Look, this is the correlation. <laughs> bad food, bad teeth. Growing up in the 80s, I got a lot of bad food. Y'all know I tell y'all, I got two or three good teeth left. It's because I was not nourished properly, right? So this means that over there in Kenya, uh, Momo, she doesn't have to worry about this video here, the one minute solution to pesticide poison. They don't even have that there, right? Here in the States, we're battling not just the pesticides, but also just the quality of the food, the type of the food. So y'all, wherever you can get whole foods, get them. Back to the spoof, okay? So basically um, with Food Church, when I went to family and friends day last week at my sister's house, I mean, my sister's church, they announced that right there in the church, they were going to have, they already have an adult daycare in place, meaning basically like an adult social club. If you have Medicare or Medicaid, they're already certified with the state. So this is a real thing. This is not just like, you know, some old folks hanging out. So if they want to go to the casino, if they want to take field trips, shopping trips, uh, if they want to hang out there and play spades, and she said they play for money too. Um, they do all of those things, but it is supported by Medicaid and Medicare. Here in the States, that's a uh, an insurance supplement so that you can get what you need in the way of you know medical assistance, whatever that means, whether it means hospitalization, doctor's visits, all of that. But it also covers things like adult daycare. So if you have people who maybe they can't get out much, um, maybe they have limitations, uh, mobility issues, their legs don't work as well as they used to, they now use one of those scooters or a walker. Uh, Medicaid and Medicare recognizes that those people need to get out to social events because those things improve their morale and their overall health as well. So that is why they would approve something like, hey, go to this social club several days a week. So this is where uh, the food church comes in. I went and talked to the lady after the family and friends day service. And I said, hey, I do in-person cooking demonstrations, just getting everybody to eat more fruits and vegetables, every spread, getting their faves in. Is this something that I can bring to this uh, group? You know, even though this isn't the, the, the church group, it's still at the church. And she was very receptive. She said, absolutely. So tomorrow I will be broadcasting there. This is how quickly things can happen, you all. When you go from person to person, now B2B is great, business to business, but business to consumer. So I'm bringing my business superfood parents to the consumer and actually it's a business. So if you look at it, it's business to business, but they're certified as well. But I'm just saying on a small scale, old fashioned networking still works. I already have my onion chopped up. I have those two carrots chopped up. I'm going to chop this piece of fennel off and uh, use these two pieces and chop those up. Okay, so that way they can get in there as well. So that's the news. That's part of the news, you all. I am going to be broadcasting live, not just tomorrow, but it looks like an ongoing relationship because we've already started talking about 
broadcasting uh, at her other locations. When the director uh, gets involved with other sites, she asked if I would be open to bringing it there as well. So yes, we talked about that. We talked about, started the talks about how to get this funded. You know, what's the best way? What are some of the current things in place? So this way, everything is not a volunteer effort because y'all know that's one of my issues with church. They always taking your time, talents and treasure and, and they don't give you anything back. They're like, oh, you'll get it when you get to heaven. Child, I ain't got time to wait. <laughs> uh, no, I need a guarantee right now. Please give me a return on my investment immediately. Okay, that's when I need the return now. So back to what we're doing. I think those are all the announcements. Uh, last week went very well with Dr. Neil Barnard when I was a food stylist uh, for Dr. Neil Barnard, founder of PCRM, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. And so that went very well. But those were the two main announcements that I wanted to give you. One is regarding the book and the other is regarding the food church experience. I'm just going to call it food church for now because it's in the church, but they transform the space. So it's not like church, but hey, it's food church where people will be able to taste the food live. You all will see, is Chef Laquita Marie cooking nasty food or do people actually like, you know, this stuff? Are they picking up what she's putting down? So far, you all have seen the guests on the show give those uh, good responses, right? And uh, <laughs> we're just going to get more of it. Thank you so much, Nikki. She says, the everyday life of an OCD is chick. The everyday life of an OCD is chick says, chop those veggies, Chef. Look. Y'all know this Cutco knife is making the dream happen, right? And I'm putting everything right here in a paper bag because we take our scraps to compost. So that's where the scraps all go. So this takes us over to our Faves Hero giveaway. This means if you win this Faves Hero giveaway because you've already put in hashtag help heroes, then what's going to happen is you will get a free copy of the actual cookbook. Now, remember, this workbook that I showed you is just one book in the series. It's a workbook for the recipe playbook, and there are, uh, there's another workbook that has games in it. So that way people can truly educate themselves and know why they're doing these things. So put, put in health heroes, okay? Y'all know how your mom would say stuff like, or your dad or whoever, or your older sister, whatever. They would say, put on deodorant, put on deodorant. And you didn't know. You were just like, I don't have a reason. I don't care. But then once you started getting older and you had somebody that you liked or they liked you, you now were educated on, oh, I should put on a deodorant so they like me. <laughs> they like me back. <laughs> it's not just a case of, you know, they're putting up with me. So once you start to learn about food, what it does and why, that's when you start to really get excited about 35 points worth of faves in any one particular dish, right? That's the reason why you do that. So let's see what you all are saying. Hey, we got, y'all know what? This is an old new team member, uh, Whitney uh, O'Neill Williams. She's like the, one of the most creative people in the world. We featured her here on the show and we're going to be help. She's going to be helping us. Y'all, this is another announcement. She's going to be helping us with some cosplay. All right. Uh, we've been talking about, are you a veggie vixen? Right. We've, we've been having that conversation with all of you. I'm going to show you all now how I'm going to put these veggies into the pan. So that way we can get into the faves give, giveaway because Lash's Journey even has it in there. Y'all know she already a faves hero. She eat like two million fruits and vegetables every day. <laughs> so she's doing the thing. So I'm going to show you this, how this goes in here. Hopefully uh, I don't make the camera go off with all the steam. So in order to avoid that, I'm just putting in um, turning the stove down a little bit so that way when I open the lid, all the heat doesn't come out, all the steam, and then you won't be able to see in the camera. So back to Whitney. Wow, Whitney O'Neill Williams. Wow, you know, that's her acronym. She is everything wow. She's a creative force. And she told me, she said, wow, I'm going to have to cosplay. I'm going to have to cosplay Veggie Vixen, right? She already claimed that she is a Veggie Vixen. Uh, now, Lash's Journey is fasting today. We know that, but we got our favorite... Uh, Nigerians here, and I'm sure Ruby's daycare encounters is not fasting today because she runs a daycare, she's feeding those kids, and so I'm sure she's feeding herself. So I know you're just passing through and I appreciate your time. I'll put these veggies in here. Let me let the steam go away. And 
So basically, rather than, um, basically Whitney is going to help me with the campaign to get people on to being a veggie vixen or a disease destroyer. You know, who can cosplay this? Uh, <laughs> and y'all see Whitney is telling us, hey, it's wild. That's who she is. Everything about her is wild. She She's like that person that went went to one summer camp and now can build a fire and a canoe and paddle you across the uh across the way <laughs> i'm going to put these uh mushrooms in here too because they release a lot of water so we'll go ahead and do that and once i close the lid i think i'll also um i'm gonna toss in that tofu okay because you know how you're supposed to marinate your meat it does help if you marinate tofu also the same way you would marinate meats because tofu is like, you know, um, a blank palette, a blank slate or whatever. So, you know, marinate it. But if you can't, you do what you do. You just throw the seasoning on it in the pan, right? So I'll stir this up. And y'all see Whitney Williams is saying, definitely a vixen. <laughs> yes, veggie vixen. Oh, look at how beautiful this is, y'all. It's even better in person with all the colors, but okay. What we do know is some of these colors will kind of mute, they'll disappear, and so that's fine. We still have our red peppers and our carrots to keep that vibrancy. So I'll put the lid on while I put the tofu in, and we'll go ahead and do the drawing for our Faves Hero giveaway. Uh-oh, I don't know if that camera froze over there. Y'all might not see another thing, because I don't see my, oh, okay, it's working. All right, hey there, she fires. I know you're hungry, but make sure you put in Hashtag health heroes because right now we are giving away our face. I think, did you already win one time? I'm trying to remember. Now y'all, there's a little bit of water in this particular super firm organic tofu, right? So I'm going to put this over top of this container so that the little bit of water, y'all hear that? This knife is cutting right through the plastic like butter. Like one of your old Cutco knife. I told y'all this Cutco knife, it does not fail. Um, I almost lost it. You know, I almost have, had a casualty because it was on the sitting too close to something hot. I'm going to throw that in the trash later. And there's a little melty spot right here where the handle started to get melted. Woo, child, I had to save it. But anyways, uh, I'm just going to slice up some of this. Oh, I didn't show you all the block of tofu. It just comes as a block, super firm. And if you look, even when you squeeze it, I get that like a little bit of water out of it. So that's where you don't even have to squeeze it. You don't even have to take that out anymore. I'm just gonna cut it into squares. I'll throw it into the pan and then I'm going to throw in a seasoning, all right? Okay, Whitney, you can smell it, right? I know it looks so good, you can smell it. And we also have AJ's road trip and he's out there in Germany. He was recently hiking y'all on the edge of a cliff doing all this extra stuff about to fall into the, uh, he was about to fall into the um, the unknown. Let me just say that. <laughs> that thing was deep where he was. But thank you for coming in here from Germany. I see she fires is talking to you. Y'all see this brand right here, Better Than Bouillon? This is a smoky flavor that I found. So it is uh, animal free. So I use this one. Even though it doesn't say vegan or anything, you can just look at the ingredients and it has uh, chili peppers that are fire roasted, salt, blah, 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 hydrolyzed protein, garlic spices, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't have any animal products. So, so y'all look, she fires one recently. If y'all want to win, all you have to do is put in hashtag health heroes. Why? Because we're, we're doing it right now as I finish up this dish. Okay. So that means I'll bring it on, right? Yes, be safe, AJ. Please be safe. Don't be out there on the edge like you were. Because uh, <laughs> I was just looking like, AJ, for real though, don't do it. Don't do it. We love you, AJ. We need you, AJ. All right. So I'm going to throw the tofu in. And this gives you that meaty bounce. Tofu is also high in protein. When you look up the word, because tofu is simply soybeans. Y'all know most of the world's tofu, or soybeans, I should say, it's grown for animals to feed to animals so that you can get like a, a burger because they give it to cows and they give it to pigs, right? So that pork that Momo is frying up, if she were in the States, that's what they would be feeding those pigs and cows. I'm going to put in a good dollop of this paste. 
and this is about a tablespoon, no, it's about a teaspoon and a half. And I'm just going to mix that in with everything so that it seasons it, seasons it up nicely. It's like a bouillon paste, okay? So that's there. I'm going to stir it and close the top. That way we can just do our Faves Hero giveaway and everything will work out. I apologize for the fuzziness on the screen, you all. I do believe it is the steam coming up to the camera. All right, y'all look, make sure she fires doesn't win by putting in health heroes again. Cause like Whitney said, if she fires wins again, we know it's rigged, right? <laughs> Cause it seems like some of the same people will win all the time, huh? So it looks like we've got everything coated here. The tofu, the vegetables, y'all, you can just throw, if you have pasta already boiled, this is how the supper, the pasta playbook will work. It'll show you how you can use some of these flavor profiles to throw some throw into some noodles save some of the filling throw it into a burrito so that way you have two different meals okay you'll have two different meals just like that lord momo had to go feed the dog i forgot she loves her dog she does have pets all right so let's get into it let's see who is going to be the faves hero for today i'm going to just share with you all so you can see it and who is today's Health Hero. All right, we got Momo's World, Tati C. Petito. Wow, G. Albert, uh, Bravo with Sheila Network, uh, Gail at Night, Tati C. Petito, G. Albert, Last Year's Journey, Tati Ananiya, Momo's World. <laughs> I think it's your first time winning here at Momo's World. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. Congratulations. Now, look, y'all, when you can't sing, you don't even have to worry about copyright, okay? You, you can just sing it and the thing won't even pick it up. So look at that. You already have congratulations. The Everyday Life of an OCD is chick is saying congratulations. And Whitney O'Neill Williams, a wow, says, if they are vegan, everybody's eating. You know, the nice thing about this dish is that you don't even have to be vegan. This is just delicious food. So instead of the tofu, if you'd like to add a different protein, um, and that protein, let me just say there's a different meat. If you'd like to add dogs to it now i don't think momo would like that because yay she won right <laughs> so you don't want to add dog unless you're in a different country but if you want to add chicken beef pork cow uh what else do people eat rabbit squirrel muskrat possum you can do that because you know do do you right so everybody's congratulating uh momo's world from uh momo's world has an amazing channel by the way from Kenya. And so she's saying, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. All we have to do now is assemble our burrito. Let me show you how we're going to do that. I am going to put all of the filling into this container with the tofu. That way I just have it out of the pan. I will put a little bit of oil in the pan. So that way I can now toast up my burrito. You know what? I think I'll do one not toasted and one toasted because I'm running out of time, y'all. I'm at the 38 minute mark. This is a 30 minute show. So instead of toasting it, I think I won't toast it today. If y'all want to see a, a grilled stuffed burrito, like the grilled one that you have to go to last night's episode, Bravo with Sheila Network. I was there. That's why I toasted it. I think for today, I'm going to just roll one up because y'all know what to do. Look at Momo's world. She's saying, I'm excited. <laughs> instead of a face, I wrote the voice. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Lash's Journey is saying you're welcome. Let me grab my cheese here. Let me clear off my cutting board. I do have a cloth to dry it because it's wet from the vegetables. Y'all know, I always say this, there's a lot of water in fruits and vegetables. This is another reason to eat your water. That's what they call structured water. When you're eating it inside the fruits and vegetables, it's now structured water. You are no longer wasting time just drinking water, which may or may not be contaminated because y'all know we got issues with our drinking water here in the States. They try to make like it's Flint, Michigan, but every single state has those same problems uh, due to, you know, old pipes, due to the current things they're adding to the water. Yes, all of that. So y'all make sure you get your faves in and make sure you try this recipe. Let me know what you're thinking, okay? I'm gonna grab my burrito. This, you can use any flat wrap that you like. Some people use the healthier one, some people don't. I use the cheapest one. I talk about organic and then I grab this. So this is just to show you all that again, I try to use organic as much as I can, right? But not all the time. So these, this brand is like the one that's almost always on sale. And it even has some Crisco in it. Y'all know Crisco is like one of the worst things in your world, in your life. It's a 
hydrogenated fat, right? So look, but I'm using it. So let's go for it. Just use any wrap that you're going to use. I'm going to lay the cheese over here on the side and I'll put the food that's in here right along the middle, okay? So far you saw that I only used one seasoning, but right now I'm going to taste this and I'm going to see if I want to use one of my other seasonings. For example, this one right here, this complete, uh, Sazon Complete. I really enjoy this one because it has a deep flavor. It has a little bit of sweet, savory, all that kind of stuff, all, all involved in it, okay? So that's one of my favorites. And then of course the adobo by Goya, that's another one that I use. It has pepper already in it. It has garlic powder. And now this one is my premier favorite. You know, pepper carries nutrients into your cells. So that's another good reason to go for the Goya brand. All right, let's see what this is doing. Let's go ahead and taste it. Now I'm looking at it. I'm not showing you all because the camera keeps doing funny things, but all of the vegetables are soft enough now. So they still have a little bit of bite. And then they also, I'm gonna show you all under the camera. I'm gonna turn it down so the steam goes away. And while I do, while I wait for that to cool down, I'll get my cheese. I already took it out. The Chow brand spicy. So this is like pepper jack. Oh, I know what I forgot with the announcements. Last announcement, y'all. Y'all hear this music. Y'all hear this music. Okay, when you do what you're supposed to do, you will get what you're supposed to get. So I just keep doing whatever I'm doing and I'm enjoying it. And I really am trying to service everyone with as much good information, useful information and demonstrations, right? I'm just putting a few pieces of cheese over here on the edge that's gonna be rolled up because they will melt because the contents are hot. And then I'll add the inside. So I was just doing what I did. And then I went on to, I went on to the Jehovah Witness site and I had, yeah girl, yeah y'all, y'all heard that, the Jehovah Witness page. I had an interview on their page and it was great. And what happened was uh, Von Eric saw that interview and he said, he, that was a great interview. Here is a beat. So the music that you're listening to is from Von Eric, Where's Your Faith? Uh, I don't know if y'all can see this because the steam is still doing too much. Let me try to uh, shake it and blow it and move it. And that way when I taste this, mm -mm -mm. Mm. pretty good, but y'all know, I gotta throw in my half a teaspoon of adobo to boom, level up, boom, level up, boom, boom. All right, now that I sprinkled that on, this is set and it's ready. And all I do is scoop some out and I'm gonna talk about this pot. I see y'all are talking about this pot, right? Uh, Lash's Journey is saying, I love that pot. And then I also see Whitney or Williams saying, yeah, that is an awesome pot. This is a pot that's in my Amazon store. If this pot is, um, is like a wok, but it's stainless steel because my research has shown from, and I say research, I'm talking about, I listen to the medical doctors and I listen to the scientists that have done peer reviewed studies and that have done different studies that um, will explain, you know, what's going on, how it's going on. Um, they've done tests and all these different things. And they say stainless steel is one of the safer ways to go. Okay. See, y'all are en enjoying this music, right? Um, thank you. You said this looks so yummy. And I'm glad you're appreciating the show, Whitney O'Neill Williams. I'll be talking with you more about our campaign that we're running. And she's letting you all know too. Whitney O'Neill Williams says support local and international supermarkets that give back to your community. A lot of our supermarkets are giving back. All we have to do is tap into it, right? I'm gonna roll this up. Some of y'all know how to roll one up. Y'all have done it before. <laughs> you start to roll and then you fold in the ends, just the little corner of the end. That way both ends will be sealed. If you have a sandwich press, you can put this on that grill so that way you don't even have to use oil and it will toast it for you. Or you can put it into the pan to finish it. So that way it is um look at that y'all beautiful mm -mm -mm. that way it is crispy it's toasted because you know our we naturally like the crunch 
our body is it's like drawn to the crunch. Oh, good. Lash's journey says that's what kind of pot you use. Stainless steel. Y'all see that? And if I wanted to use the rest of this, like let's say I could make another two burritos and still have plenty to use with a half a box of pasta. Just eight ounces of pasta will feed like four to six people. So this is how you stretch your food. Y'all, thank you, Lashes Journey. You're saying you'll get this pot from my store. It's a huge wok and it fits so much and it, it's just beautiful. It works well, it's nonstick, so it's, it's wonderful. So let's see um, if this is, if we're ready for our super clap sign off. That means if the food is good, we can clap, we can dance, and yes, nice and tight is how this show typically works so that, uh-oh, my filling is falling out. This is why I use a, a wrap instead of bread. Y'all know if this was just two slices of sandwich bread, half this stuff could not fit in there. So y'all, this is why you also wanna roll it up so you can keep all your food. Don't think of it as, oh, it's a burrito, it's Mexican. Mm -mm, it's just bread, it's just flatbread. That's why the flatbread company started getting into flatbread because they was like, we tired of uh, the other cultures getting all the money. Let's just make the same product and call it a different thing. It's flatbread or tortilla is flatbread, right? So let's see how this is. If this is delicious, we're gonna do our super clap sign off where we play DJ is his clap music and we uh, say goodbye. Mm -mm -mm. mm. Y'all. So this is fresh. It has a lightness to it, but there's a lot of flavor. Um, enough saltiness. Mmm. I'm sorry, last journey. Not to make you hungry. I know you 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 fasting, but I can't stop rocking. Let me tell you. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let's just go ahead and clap it off. Because we can't slap nobody's mama. There's nobody's mama here to slap, right? And I sure ain't slapping mine. We got to do it. This is where you all clap for yourselves. Clap for being a health hero for your loved one. For um, Momo, since you won the giveaway, child, I can't ship the Kenya. I ain't even going to lie. I meant to tell you that. I know you're a lawyer, but don't come for me. All I can do is give you the free download, okay? So go to my website and get the free download as a winner. <laughs> And, and yes, good look, go for it. This food got me rocking. Uh, the everyday life of a new CTS chick. She said, rock it good. <laughs> Last of journey is sending the love. And Whitney O'Neill said, mm, that dance, that's how you know it was good. Yes. Oh, let me turn this off because this is done. You don't even need to overcook your vegetables. That's the nice thing about real food. When it's good, it, it just, um, you don't have to cook it long. Like when it's whole food and it's good, it's fresh. Even when old, whole food is old, y'all, you can keep best fruits and vegetables for like weeks, rutabagas for months in your home, potatoes. Y'all, there's no reason for y'all to be broke or hungry. You have all that you need. So let's clap it up and let's get out of here. I see y'all are already clapping. Y'all know I'm the nurse with the knees. So this one is so good. We're going to drop it a few times. Okay. Let me just make some space. Move this trash bag out. How many y'all want me to do? Put in the comments how many times y'all want me to drop it. Okay? Where I put my foot in that, I did. Y'all put some numbers in the chat, because you know I got the good knees. Y'all, I done dropped the keyboard. Don't, don't do too much. Don't, don't hurt them. Quit it, don't hurt them. Put your hands in the air. I had to pop and talk and twerk. I'm going uh, to twerk on your behalf one day. <laughs> Y'all can put any number in the chat. Don't put like 50, because we gotta go. Y'all know we in overtime. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Yep, I got the good knees. So y'all know I can go down. I can go up. We can clap it out. <laughs> hey. I don't know. Y'all can see. Y'all can see the leg actually. That's a good part. That's a good part. Hey, don't take it down enough. <laughs> I will see y'all next time. We are in overtime. We gotta go. It's been real. I hope y'all try these recipes. And of course, be a health hero for your loved one. Make sure you do all that you can while you can. Hey, take care.